Hi Scorpio, it's Tuesday. I'm going to do a quick read for you guys. I've already got everything laid out. I actually started to do the read and had to stop. Um, but let's go ahead and do it again. And um, thank you so much for visiting my channel. It's a new channel. It's growing really fast. So thank you so much to those of you ha that have been um, with me from the beginning, which was just about a month ago. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of blown away at how fast it's growing. I love all your comments and um, I respond to all comments. So if you're new, I hope you'll stay with me and hit like, share, subscribe. Um, rules can be reversed. They can intermingle. So take it how it resonates. It's general, cannot resonate for everyone. Is that everything I'm supposed to say? I think so. Oh, and if I say he, she, please forgive me because it's not gender specific. Okay, so let's get started. So what we have, I did draw an, or, an oracle card, which is mending. This is all about forgiving um, and, you know, men, making amends with, with, with things that, you know, you're out of sorts with or with someone or situation. Okay, so in uh, the recent past, we have the tower card, which is, you know, a fight, maybe a bickering. Um, we also clarifying that we got the high priestess, which tells me that it could be about, you know, a secret that was revealed. Um, current mutual energy is juggling maybe emotions, trying to decide, making a decision. On their mind, though, this is where it gets really good. We've got Ace of Wands, which could be an apology. Uh, I think it's both. I think it's apology and a passionate new beginning. Um, clarifying that because I did ask, is this an apology? We got the Ace of Pentacles, which again makes me think apology. And I'll go more into these, um, these clarifiers here in a minute. How they view you is the star card, that Aquarius energy. But in this, in this spread, I'm feeling, you know, very strong mystery. They're feeling like you're very mysterious. You're not showing your cards. You're and I'm not saying they're thinking this, but what I'm picking up on is that you are hiding your emotions, okay? So you're kind of maybe trying to come across as cold or hide how you feel because you don't want to reveal, you don't want to be vulnerable, you don't want to feel too deeply, so you may be overcompensating that um, by, you know, acting like you don't care so much. I think that could be blocking this apology we got this clarifying those two aces and um could also be blocking you know this new love from or you know incoming them giving their love to you you giving your love to them so already i feel like the message is about and we also we have the hermit i'm sorry if i'm all, all over the place usually i lay the cards out as i go um we've got the hermit card which is not talking we have three of wands that's crowning the read. So that's evaluating, you know, where you've been, where you are now and where you want to go. But the hermit card is kind of screaming here. Um, not the, the communication has been shut down. I think it's on your part. Roles can be reversed. Okay. Deep in their emotions, they feel wounded um, and wanting to heal how they see moving forward. Again, King of Wands, they want to offer you um, this new passionate beginning. They want to take action. They, I believe they want to apologize. Something is keeping them from doing that. And I think it's because you're hiding your emotions and they're confused about how you feel because you're covering that. Hidden factors. This is also playing into that. We've got the nine of swords. So again, here's what's hidden is you are really upset about this. You're, you know, you've got some mental anguish but I believe you're hiding it, okay? And that's keeping them, making them not know where, how to move forward, how to um, come forward with apology, or it's making them insecure about it. Tarot's advice is to is nine of cups. It's all about celebrating and cheers, and you know, let's get over this. Let's pat. Let's let this pass. Let's let let this apology come through, so we can you know be friends again and celebrate. For some of you, it could be you know to get out and go do stuff with your friends. That's possible, but. Um, we also, for the outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Stability. This is good. This is, you know, you feeling stable. I think you're going to have to allow this apology through, though. Um, clarifying all that, we got Nine of Wands, you know, and I think it's both of you. That's feeling wounded. You know, you're not giving up. You haven't given up. 
but you're feeling wounded, okay? And um, we also got Ten of Cups. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Focus. Focus. Uh, there. Oh, did we get that? There. And we got the Emperor, which is my, you know, it's a card represents husband for me. Boundaries, healthy boundaries, um, confidence, security. So, you know, it's okay to have your boundaries, but I think, again, I know I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. I do that when I get all these messages coming in, but um, I think the the very important message here is to um, make amends, okay? Let me see what this amend card says. It says mending, which is also healing, but let's see what it says. So mending, can you guys see that? Pretty, right? All right, so forgiveness, making amends, and healing after an argument. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding, we accumulate an unwanted burden. It keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes. I feel like you guys are circling this loop of thought. Like it's a cycle, a pattern where you just go round and round mentally, um, rethinking it instead of simply letting it go. Um, and it's obviously bothering you. So, uh, you know, it's like you're stuck in this dark mental state of trying, you know, just repeating the, the hurt, repeating the, it's mental anguish. Okay. So let's go back to this card. Um, da, da, da. now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of old hurts in order to reclaim your power. It's time to forgive, release, make peace, and make amends with others. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary. Wow. If you are to move forward, um, this energy needs to be cleared. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's all about forgiveness, making amends, sympathy, empathy. Okay, so if you want this, this person does, is crazy about you, they th feel like you're their wish, they want to offer love, but they are feeling blocked by not sure if they can come forward with an apology. They're not sure if you're going to accept it um, because you're, you're hiding your emotions. I think you care so much for this, for this, and you, you feel so deeply that you may be overcompensating and blocking, you know, the apology in, uh, which is going, comes along with them, you know, offering you love. Okay. All right, Scorpio, you guys let me know in the comments, let me know how it resonated and happy new year. If I haven't already said that, and I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye Scorpio.